Toy Story, Buzz and Woody's time travel, one sunny afternoon, Buzz Lightyear and Woody were relaxing in Andy's room, chatting about all the adventures they'd had over the years. Suddenly, there was a flash of light, and a strange-looking clock appeared right in front of them. It had rainbow-colored gears and a tiny screen that read, Time Travel Activated, Buzz, what is this thing? Woody asked, poking it cautiously with his boot, Buzz studied the clock, his helmet shining in the sunlight. Well, Sheriff, this looks like a highly advanced time travel device. But where did it come from? Before they could guess, the clock began to work, and with a whoosh, they were sucked inside. When the spinning stopped, Woody opened his eyes and gasped. They were in Andy's room, but everything looked old-fashioned. The posters on the wall showed black and white rocket ships, and the toys looked like they were from decades ago, Buzz scanned the room. Sheriff, I think we've landed in the past, howdy, strangers, said a familiar voice. Turning around, Woody and Buzz saw a younger version of Mr. Potato Head, wearing an old-fashioned bow tie. You knew toys around here, Buzz grinned. We're travelers from the future, here to visit for a short time. But we need to find our way back soon. Woody and Buzz decided to make the most of their time travel adventure. They met toys who were Andy's dad's toys when he was a child. Like a tiny cowboy figure named Bronco Bill and a robot with a wind-up key named Robbie. They told stories of how things used to be, and Woody and Buzz shared tales of space rangers and cowboys working together, but as the sun began to set, Buzz checked the time travel clock, and it started glowing again. Woody, it's time to go back, the toys they'd met waved goodbye as Buzz and Woody stepped close together. With a flash, they found themselves back in present-day Andy's room, the same as it had always been. Buzz looked at Woody and grinned. Well, Sheriff, that was a blast from the past. Woody tipped his hat, smiling. Sure was, partner. But let's keep this adventure between us Andy will never believe it. And from then on, they kept the magic clock hidden away, just in case they ever wanted to travel through time again.